Scaling comes in two forms for organizations. There's a technological scaling issue, and then there's scaling the organization itself. And those two things are two different, related, interesting problems. The first problem that companies face when they scale is they don't realize that scaling is a human problem. It's not a computer problem. It's not a throughput problem. It is a, I used to have one person that did all of these things and they have to let go of some of those things. So somebody else needs to be able to do those things. And scaling is just that kind of repeated over and over again. You have to let things go, get more specialized in them, improve them, change them. What worked at 30 people doesn't work at 300. What worked at 300 will not work at 3000. A lot of times when particularly you get a person like myself in front of the camera, we wanna talk about how you horizontally scale things and how you make them fault tolerant and how you build them out in, in large scale environments and throughput and all that. And that's all super cool. The other part that's equally as interesting is how as you go from being this small startup where everybody's sitting around each other or they can all get on a Slack conversation and sync up really quickly, as you grow that to a larger and larger organization, how do you keep collaborating? It's really important to mature as a startup and I do think an important part of that is professionalization. Um, starting to set standards, practices, processes and frameworks for how you're working together. And each of these levels of scale, there's the right amount of process, of structure, of communication required in order to be successful. There's scaling of people, there's scaling of systems, and then there's scaling of the organization. In order to be able to know if the system was working well, you have to be able to measure it. You have to be able to have appropriate monitors and metrics in place so you can know when your system is starting to creak. The thing I like to say a lot of times is you, you can't know a thing if you can't measure a thing. So in order to be able to know if the system was working well, you have to be able to measure it. But you have to know what you're measuring. You have to understand how that measurement fits into the system. And you don't want to know when your system has failed because then you're too late. You want to know when your system is starting to strain so that way you can respond in a timely manner to adjust it. Sometimes you have to know when to turn down the knob, to tweak the knob so that things are happening at a slower rate. Something may be coming in and it won't have an impact until three or four steps down the line. And that's where the operational knowledge of how the system acts as a whole is really important. A good example would be like at Circle, where a lot of customers came in in a very short period of time and the applications and platform worked great for a very long time. And then certain patterns and workloads came on the system and suddenly scale problems were immediately very obvious because there were certain workloads we couldn't handle at the scale with that many customers. And so we had to go refactor and, and change some things on the infrastructure side. When you want to scale, automation becomes of paramount importance. And the reason most people think of automation, they think of speed. And speed is a great reason to automate things, but consistency is the way more important reason. When things are done the same way every time, no matter how it's kicked off or initiated, that's where real scale happens. Circle CI is interesting in that space because it helps teams deliver. Now to have that as a tool across your whole company where everyone's able to ensure their delivery through that tool allows those teams to scale out and continue to deliver reliably and confidently.